In this video, we'll see how to create a different types of artifact attributes and also attribute data types. So when I say different attributes, what does it mean is for one artifact, get, there can be different attributes like business priority, severity, status and so on. Similarly, for different attributes, I can have different attribute data types. So I'll just show you one example. In the previous video, if you remember, I have created one artifact type that was nothing but functional requirement. That was one artifact type. For that artifact type, now in this video, we'll create one attribute type that is severity. And for that attribute type, I have this attribute data types that is very high, high, medium, low and very low. So this I can create it. This is just an example. You can change the names, you can change different data types and you can do anything here, right? But to do that, you need to have the project admin permission as a role given, only then you can do. You cannot do as a user or a guest. You have to be some project admin or a jazz admin, only then it is possible. So let us see that. How do we create attribute type? How do, do we create attribute data type? Both of them will connect and then will attach to this at artifact type itself. So let us see that now. So now I have opened a uh, rational dose next generation. Now, if I go to this place as artifacts and if I click on this create and I have this as functional requirement, in the previous video I've created functional requirement. So if I click on this functional requirement, I'll give some name as FRS one and I'll click on this place as okay. If I click on this place as OK, so this artifact will be created. And when I open this artifact, let's say FRS1. And uh, if I see here, there are only three attributes which are given. Uh, that is priority, status, and there's one more business priority. And one more there is given as state. So if I click on this edit button, and if you see, these are the different attributes given state, priority, status and business priority. So what I want is I want to create one attribute that is severity and I want to attach it here. So when I click on the severity drop down, I should get list of options. That is the data type. So let us see that. How do we create it? Now I'll just go back to this place project dashboard. Now, since I'm the project admin, I have logged in as Pavan L and but I'm, I have the project admin privileges. So how do I change the project properties? So I have to go to this place and I have to click on this manage project properties. So once I click on manage project properties, previously we have created artifact type. Now, first thing is we'll create attribute data type in that data type. If you remember, I have five data types, very high, high, medium, low and very low. So first thing is I, ne I need to give some name to that data type. So for that, before that, I'll just show you these are the previously created. Uh, attribute data types. Let's say I'll select here as status. So if I click on status, it says the name is status description is the status which are given. And if you see in the drop down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the values are given and the names are labels are given here. So similarly, if I show you one more example, if I show you here as business priority list, the name is given as business priority list description, there's nothing. And if you see here must, should, could and won't. Similarly, I can create here as a new data type and the name would be as severity data type, severity data type. Okay. And after that, I can just type here some description, let's say as very high, low and medium. Some description I'm giving it here. It's not necessary. You have to fill that description. If even if you leave it empty, still it, work, it will work. So if I click on this enumerated list of values and here I can keep on typing the values. If you remember, I want to type here five different uh, data types that is very high, high, medium and all. So what I'll do is I'll click on this add value and I'll keep on adding the values as very high. Next one I'll say as high. Third one I'll say as medium. Next I'll say as low and the last one is very low. That's it. So I'll just, I have right now created attribute data type and that name is severity data type and I'll click on this save button. After saving this, where should I use this data type? I should have some attribute only then I can use it. So I'll just go back to this artifact attributes. And if you see, these are the artifact attributes, business priority for this business priority. That's just an example that is business priority. And for this, there is a business priority data type, which is attached here, business priority data type. If I go to some other place, let's say if I go to status, yeah, if I go to priority, let's say, so for this name priority, there is one thing data type that is rank list type. So what I'll do is I'll create my own data attribute that is nothing but a severity. So if I click on this new attribute and I'll type here as severity, if I click on the severity, I can just write here as description something and I'll type here as severity data type. 
severity attribute attribute purposely i have written just to make you understand in that what should be my data type data type should be the last one which i have created that is nothing but severity so i'll pick up severity from here severity data type that is the one thing right and that's it selected that what should be the initial value so i'll say initial value should be very high always whenever i select the initial value should be very high and that's it finally i'll just click on this save button i have created attribute data types i have created now artifact attributes it can only be used it can only be used into artifact type itself so what i'll do is i'll go to that artifact type here and uh, I have this functional requirement that was the recently created artifact type. So in this functional requirement, if I scroll down, there is artifact attributes as priority status as business priority. Now I want to add the previously created attribute. So how do I add it? On the right hand side, if you see that is add attribute, it will give a list of all the attributes, default, customize, everything. Now I want to add here severity attribute. So I'll select here severity attribute. So here it is added as severity attribute, which is given here. Now, finally, what you can do is you can just click on this save button, which is already saving it here. Now, since I've added the, all these things, artifact type, let us use the artifact type. That is the functional requirement. So when I create function requirement, I should be able to see all this artifact, uh, that is attributes, priority status, and last one is severity attribute. So that's it. Now I'll just go back to my artifacts. Now I'll create a new artifact that is functional requirement. Click on this, click on functional requirement. I'll name it as something FRS2 and then I'll click on OK. So once I click on OK, this artifact will be created. Here it is the artifact. If I open this, if I click on that, on the right hand side, if you see that is given as priority status, business priority and severity. By default, the value is given as very high. So if I click on this edit button and if I scroll down, that is nothing but severity attribute. If I click on this drop down, there are a list of all the attribute data types which I've created. So this is the method which you have to do. In this video, I've just covered all these things purposely so that it gives some relation here. So I hope you are able to understand how to create different types of uh, what you call as attribute data types, artifact attributes, and how do we connect all of them. That's all for this video.